our extended fact review, we are looking at the fact and then adding on the zeros. So for number one, we have 9 times 9, which is 81, and then 1 zero, so 1 zero. Number two, 6 times 7 is 42, and then I have two zeros, so then I have two zeros. Number three, 7 times 3 is 21, 1 zero, 1 zero, so 210. Number four, eight times two is 16, and then I add my two zeros on. Number five, six times eight is 48, and then I have two zeros, the two zeros. Number six, five times nine is 45, one zero, one zero. Number seven, eight times nine is 72, two zeros, two zeros. Number eight, eight times five is 40, and then two zeros, so then I need two more zeros. So that one will have three zeros, because 40 has its own. Number nine, nine times eight is 72, and then I have one zero. Number 10, seven times four is 28, and then I have two zeros, so 2,800. Number 11, 7 times 4 is 28, and then I have 1, 0. Number 12, 4 times 3 is 12, with 1, 0. Number 13, 1 times 6 is 6, with 2, zeros. Number 14, 9 times 6 is 54, with 1, 0. Number 15, 10 times 3 is 30. Number 16, 4 times 5 is 20, that's my fact, and then 1, 0. Number 17, 9 times 3 is 63, and then add a 0. Number 18, 4 times 9 is 36, and then I have two zeros. Number 5, 5 times 6 is 30, with one more 0. And number 20, 2 times 8 is 16, with two zeros. So for our extended facts, we're looking for that fact and then counting how many more zeros. So even if they gave the answer in one of the numbers, we could still underline to find the fact and figure out our zeros. So that's the extended facts practice for our review.